how all this stuff is what we had last night. Chicken nuggets, quarter pounders, and wings as a cheat meal. For my diet. Now I had my cheat meal yesterday. It was wings. Get it all this cleaned up. We went to go eat at the shack. They were pretty good if you guys haven't tried it yet. Um, and then after we went dancing. And then after we went dancing, we drank a little, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, we got hungry and we got McDonald's. Now, I only ate a 10 piece nugget. I did not drink, or I did not eat my burger. Those are the leftover nuggets of my girlfriend and then the burger that I did not eat. That's hard as a rock. I wanted to show you guys what I had as a cheat meal. And uh, before I get started into the new video that I'm gonna make for you guys today, which is how I stay motivated. What up Rising High fam? Back with another video. Today I want to talk about how I stay motivated. I'm going to share four things with you guys that help me stay motivated each day. Now there's many more things that I use to stay motivated. There's a lot of key elements um, throughout the day that I use mentally, physically, and emotionally, spiritually to stay motivated. But these are probably my, my top four um, elements that I use to stay motivated. So hopefully you guys like this this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching my last video. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. And uh, let's jump right to it. All right, so the first one I'm gonna talk about is I stay in my lane. What I mean about staying in my lane is that I focus on my priorities for the day, on my responsibilities and my duties. I don't worry about what others are doing, what others are supposed to be doing. I mean, unless it's work and you know, I'm supervising or whatever, but other than that, I worry about how I feel that day and how I want my day to turn out and what my, my like I said, my responsibilities. Um, that's really important to understand what your responsibility is and your priorities because then you could focus on them. When you focus more on, on the specific um, goal or task for yourself as a priority, you do it 10 times much better than doing the task worrying about what others are going to think and if somebody else are if somebody else is going to do uh the task the way you do the next one is i deal with my own issues this is this is still under i stay in my lane um i deal with my own issues guys i don't i don't like to share my issues um it's it's my it's my my personal my personal life um when you start sharing your issues, I feel like people can give you advice, but 90% of the time they're going to judge. So if you can eliminate that, if you can avoid it, then do it. You don't you don't need to you don't you don't need to put yourself in that situation to where you're putting your issues out there and then people are judging you because either of what you're going through, uh, they start bullying you, they start criticizing you, and then that brings negativity. So that's really important to to keep your issues to yourself you know figure them out ask for advice from friends and family you know your very close friends and family and they can guide you at the end of the day it's going to be your decision but keep your issues to yourself practice on that i learned to stay to myself um that's part of of uh worrying about my own issues and what i'm dealing with in life if you know if you think about criticizing somebody judging somebody or something that you don't like on social media especially social media is a big influencer just say to yourself guys keep those comments to yourself you know it you're a bigger person and a better person keeping to yourself everyone judges you're gonna judge just keep it to yourself instead of voicing it because then you cause issues then you cause damage to others feelings and, and uh, you just start surrounding yourself with negative with negativity again People don't like you, people are judging you, then other people are waiting for you to post something so they could judge on yours. So learn to stay to yourself. We're gonna jump to the second one, which is find elements that motivate me. 
This is something you have to find out on your own based on, on your likes and your lifestyle. So these are some things that motivate me and help me stay motivated throughout the day. And one of the main things that helps me stay motivated is surrounding myself with people that are like-minded and are motivated too. Um, it's, it's easy to adapt to somebody else's feelings, guys. Like if somebody's being negative around you, somebody's being negative around you all the time and, and is making rude comments and, and judges everybody, believe it or not, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna adapt to that and you're gonna wanna be like that too. Not because you're forced to, but because those are the type of vibes that you're around with. So you you wanna avoid that. You wanna you wanna be with people that are motivating, that don't like to cause issues, don't like to cause drama, that are like minded, that want more in life, that are always positive and giving advice to people. Because just like how you can adapt to being that person that judges all the time. You can easily adapt to being that person that likes to be motivated to, that likes to spread positivity, that likes to motivate people. So that's a priority. The things that I do, I do them without being worried of being judged. Now there's going to be people out there guys, whether you're doing good in life or bad, you're still going to get judged in every single thing that you do. On this video, I'm probably going to get judged. What I do daily, I, I probably get judged. Uh, the way I put out my content, I probably get judged. But honestly, guys, I don't care. I worry about what I'm doing right for myself. And if it's something positive that I know that I'm spreading to you guys, I do it. I don't, I don't, I don't care much about if people are gonna like it or not. I, I love that you guys like it, you know, and and you guys share what I what I do, and and you guys get inspired and such. But. I do it for myself and I do it to help others. Now, for the people that don't want it, somehow they still watch it. And it's it's like I say, you have your fans, you have people that like you and people that don't like you. And people that hate you and people that, you know, get inspired by you. At the end of the day, both of those type of groups still watch your content. They're still fans. So I don't worry about being judged because then that starts bringing down my confidence. And you don't want that. You want to be confident in life and be afraid and and, uh, and be strong to accept judgment, criticism, and bullying. You know, that's what, at the end of the day, I feel like that's what makes you stronger in life. When you start overcoming all these things, you know, a single comment or, or uh, somebody judging you, it's not going to affect you. You're just going to brush it off. You're going to think something positive of it. Or maybe you'll leave a comment on, on that specific comment and be like, hey, thanks for watching. Or, or thanks, for, or thanks for, your, for your words. You know, most of the time when people judge are people that aren't happy with themselves and are going through, through, something, through something hard in life. Now, I don't wish bad upon anybody, but I'm sure it's hard for people to see other people happy. So that's why people judge. So like I said, if, if you feel like you're doing something right in life and you stand by it, especially if you stand by it, then don't worry about being judged. Even if you're going through something bad, guys, like don't be afraid to be judged. You know, everyone's life is different. Nobody's life is perfect. Nobody has figured out a life. There's different kind of personalities, different emotions, different lifestyles. People come up raised differently, you know, at the end of the day, it's life, we're only human, but don't be afraid of judgment. Another thing how I stay motivated on finding elements that what motivate me is uh, I'm, I'm the type of person that gets inspired easily. And I, I think I found my purpose already in life, you know, uh, a couple years back, maybe a few. But I found elements that help me stay motivated by taking risk. Um, trying new things, see if I like them or not. Um, being healthy and being energized and being capable of doing something new, and and taking the risk or 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 getting up, trying a new job, traveling, um, getting up in front of the camera, recording, um, going off roading with friends, things like that that you're capable of doing should motivate you. Should be enough to motivate you each day to stay motivated because you're capable to do them. There's a lot of people out there that have a disability that, that they can't get up, they're missing a leg, they're missing an arm, they don't have fingers, they can't hear, they can't talk. So so things like that 
help me stay motivated too because I'm capable of doing so much and I'm grateful for it. I'm blessed and uh, that's what helps me stay motivated too. Uh, followed by waking up each day, every morning, like being able to open my eyes, getting out of bed, being able to go to work, being able to provide and being able to live another day. That's another key element that helps me stay motivated. Now we're gonna jump to number three. Number three is eliminate negativity. Now, you cannot eliminate negativity because negativity is always gonna be there. But I like to use that term because I, I have control of eliminating negativity in my life. Um, it could come today and then it won't be here tomorrow or it could come in the next two days. Whoops. It could come in the next two days, but I have to learn how to eliminate it and stay away from it. So a huge one that I like, a, a, a big, a big uh, quote that I like to use and I think this is from, I think I saw it on Randall's pitch, Randall's pitch Instagram. Shout out to you, Randall, a huge fan. Randall's the owner of Live Fit. That's when I first started my Rising High company. I got inspired by him. And uh, he's a big hustler, guys. He's a big hustler from ground up, from going from nothing to, to what he has now. So shout out to him. Anyways, um, and that quote is, don't be concerned with things that don't concern you. So if everybody else is going through issues, going through their lifestyle, whatever it is, don't be concerned with it. It's not your, it's not your issue. It's not your lane. Be concerned with yourself, how, how, how you're living your life and how you want to live your life and how do you feel? You know, it's, you're not, you're not in the, you're not in the right place to judge others of how they're living their life. Don't be concerned with it. You know, once you start being concerned with somebody else's life, you're losing energy of your own to make your life better. And that's one thing you don't want to do because you want to focus on your life and use up all your energy that you have on your life to make it better. Whether if whether it's already good and you want to make it way better or you're struggling in life and you want to make it bring it up to that next level of of being happy and finding yourself. So don't be concerned with others people with other people's life and lifestyle. That's that's something you should not waste your energy on. Keep your small, keep your circle small. And by that I mean like keep your close friends, your friends that you can count on. Um, don't judge you. You can get up, get get on a phone call and call them in case of an emergency. And they're there. friends that you consider brothers and sisters. Now along with family, keep that circle small because you don't need to have a hundred friends. They have to visit every weekend. They have to go out with. Don't worry about being liked. Don't worry about following a trend. Don't worry about being uh, in a group because it's a new thing going. But at the end of the day, you're going to bed sad and upset and mad because you're not doing something that you like. You have to be fake. Keep your circle small. You know, the, the circle that you have, you know, your best friends, your best girlfriends, your family, your brothers, your sisters, whatever, they're going to understand you and support you. And that's going to make you stronger as an individual to grow and to be confident. So with that comes less stress, less, less issues, less judgment, less criticism. Those are things that you control and are easy to control. You know, don't be afraid to just have two friends and your family. Don't let issues get the best of you. This is part of eliminating negativity. Um, everyone has issues, guys. I still have issues in this in, in, in the lifestyle that I live. Uh, I, I see it as a learning experience that, that this these issues and uh, I get what I can learn from it and then if I learn from it, I can teach it to somebody else. And if I could teach it to somebody else, I can avoid or it, it avoids other people making the same mistake I did. If it's an issue caused by me or caused just in life, you know, um, there's a lot of uncontrollable forces in life that we can't be, res we're responsible for, but we can't control. So I'm pulling, putting a load to wash 
I have to wash, get it over with. I hate washing. No, you know what? I like washing and drying. I just hate folding. I hate, I hate folding my clothes. I grab my clothes, so when I used to live in my apartment in San Angelo, I used to wash my clothes and dry it, and I would just leave it in the dryer until I was like picking at it every day of what I had to wear. But now since I'm back home, um, I'm not the only one in this house, so like I have, sometimes I leave it, sorry mom if you're watching this, and brother and sister. But I'll sometimes leave it down here, because I forget, or because I'm just too lazy guys to like kick it out. And that's one of my flaws and I'll admit it, but I'll take it to my room and I just, if it's, if the shirts are inside out, I'll just fold them like that and put them away. You know, you guys are probably thinking like, damn, this guy's a fucking hustler, and this guy works, and he's addicted to work, and he's a, he's probably a perfectionist, and blah, blah, blah. Honestly, guys, there's some things that I fucking suck at life. Like, there's some things that, I, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, how can, how can, how can I be the person I am, so on and so forth, but I can be so vulnerable in, in some things. But hey, that's part of life, you know? But anyways, going on number five. And I don't think I labeled them. I think I think I did, I just didn't number them. But number five. Is guys, we're alive. We are human. You know the chances, you know Gary Vaynerchuk, one of the big uh, influencers I follow, is a big big time entrepreneur and uh, he's coming to El Paso, um, I hope I get to go see him, but shout out to you Gary, um, Gary has taught me a lot in, in, in self awareness and to understand yourself better and to be a better person in the future. And you were put on this earth, you were given the chance to live, not a lot of people you know, get the chance to live. So wake up every day and realize that you're alive, you know, that you're breathing. And if you hate your life for, for, for whatever reason, either work or the people you're around with or the issues, be strong enough to move forward and make that change. If you need to make a change, make it. Don't be afraid, don't wait 20 years from now. Don't wait 40 years from now. You know, whatever age you are, you're at, think about what you've done in life. You know, look back from when you can remember and think how, how your life has processed over the years, how, how it's developed. If it's been good, great. If you're gonna make it better, even even good, even better. But if it's if it's been pretty rocky and, and you go through a lot, you go through a lot of issues, guys, there's people out there that could help you. There's advisors, there's influencers. Surround yourself with positivity. You know, it's gonna be hard at the beginning because you're not used to it, but do it. You know, I wasn't always like this. I wasn't always motivated. I wasn't always determined to help others. I wasn't always, you know, looking forward to seeing other people succeed with me. You know, I built that over the years and it's been a little over 12 years since I've, I've been working on this. And I still have a long way to go. I still have a lot of things that I want to accomplish. Um, I still want to help others grow with me because it satisfies, it satisfies me and it brings me joy to see others happy because everyone deserves to be happy and whatever I can help with in that specific day, whether it's change, whether making somebody else's day, whether opening the door for somebody, whether telling somebody have a good day, you don't get that sometimes, you know, and, and sometimes it's those little things that you should be grateful, you, you should be grateful for. So understand that you're alive and you were put on this earth to make a difference and to be unique and to have a purpose. So so don't be afraid to make that next step of finding yourself, of, of uh, finding your purpose, of taking a risk. If you don't like your job, quit. You know, if, if, if you don't, if you don't want to talk to a specific person, leave them, block them. You know, be strong. That's what makes you stronger in life. And whatever advice I can give you guys, you know, if you guys want to give me a shout on social media, just holler at me guys, like I'll be more than glad to help you guys out. Maybe you haven't been through what you've been through, but at the end of the day, issues are issues. They get solved, you know, they make a person better. So those are those are the key elements that help me stay motivated every day. And I hope it's helpful for some, for some of you guys. Um, there's still a lot of things I want to share in life. There's still a lot of other little uh, key elements that I use to stay motivated, but these are my top, 
I messed that up again, huh? These are my top four key elements that I that I use, that I implement every day to, to stay focused and to stay motivated in life. All right, guys, so thanks for watching, and I hope this video was helpful for some of you. Um, a lot of you guys have already experienced what I've just talked about, or maybe you guys are using it already in your life. Um, and I want to know about it. I want to know if you guys are doing it already, or if you guys, or if it's a new practice that you guys want to start, or um, what are you guys doing different to stay motivated in life? You know, there's many ways to stay motivated in life, but these are the things that help me and and allow myself to to get better in life. So. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. I'm still getting used to having a camera in front of me and talking to it. It's like I'm talking to myself. It makes me feel like I'm going crazy, but I'm enjoying it so far. I wasn't going to record until next this week coming up to give you guys an update on my diet. Um, I had my first cheat meal yesterday. Nuggets and nuggets and, and uh, hot wings and some beer. Um, I checked in at 176. Yesterday I checked in at 172, so I know today is a lot of retention. Um, a lot, a lot of the food that I ate is still in my system, so that's why I feel pretty heavy. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna finish washing, finish drying, and I doubt, I die, highly doubt, I'll fold my clothes. I'll just throw it in my bed, but I'll go to the gym, do some cardio, lift some weights, and then come back and prep some meals. And I'll show you guys on my social media what I'm gonna cook for the week or for the next two days. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. If you haven't yet, subscribe. And uh, let's get this video to 15 likes. You know, the, the two, two videos before got 11. So let's get this one to 15 likes. And we are on the road to 100 subscribers. Um, thank you guys for subscribing and, uh, and uh, liking and commenting on, on the videos. I appreciate you guys. And uh, can't wait to shoot more for you and share more of my life. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.